Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Opinal Roundup Beer Review. Um, today we're doing a type of video I haven't done in a long time. We're doing a beer haul video. Um, on this table in front of me is a lot of beer. Now this is all the beer that has been brought here by myself, the punter, and Booberry over the last week. Uh, we're down to 10 beers in that there fridge over there to review. So, me, Booberry, and the punter went went hog wild. Um, lots of beer here in Ontario that we still haven't reviewed, but we can't get our hands on it. Uh, lots of stuff from from um, Bell Woods. There's stuff from Great Lakes. There's stuff all over the province. Unfortunately, Ontario, unlike the U.S., doesn't have the distribution network that the U.S. does. But anyway, let's do our beer haul video, right? First. Two that we were actually requested to do with it, I thought we had done a long time ago. Apparently we hadn't, so we will now. We have Old Milwaukee. Yeah. And to go along with Old Milwaukee, Old Milwaukee Ice. Uh, Canadian Hitman asked us to do these. So we have them to do. Uh, one that just hit Ontario, which a lot of people in Canada know, is Molson's Old Style Pilsner. So, I grabbed some of this as well, because, hey, I've never had it. Always intrigued about something we haven't had. The Booberry brought us Seagram Iced Lemon Tea. And I know it's not really a beer, it's a cooler, but hey, we'll still drink it. And Seagram's Classic Lemonade. What else do we got in this pile? We have... Snake Dog IPA from uh, the Flying Dog Brewing Company. So Snake Dog IPA. 7% mm, ABV. Well, 7.1. What is this? This is Breckenridge. Now, I've had uh, their Vanilla Porter and their Oatmeal Stout. I love the Vanilla Porter. I wasn't a huge fan of the Oatmeal Stout. But this is Lucky You IPA. What other punter beers do we have here? Right here, Dundee Irish Red. Well, Irish Red Lager. Um, Samuel Ad Adams Belgian Session. Uh, I don't. I think he was at Tops where he picked all these up. I think that's where he was. Him and his dad went across to get them. Um, Magic Hat, Ticket to Rye. Uh, woodchuck Hard Cider. I believe we haven't done the regular Hard Cider. We've done some Woodchuck products, but I don't think we've done this one. I'll have to double check it on the uh, on the playlist. Um, a non-alcoholic offering, which we're going to make alcoholic. Refresco Goya, which is a sangria mix. So we'll get some white and red wine and mix it in there. George Killian's Irish Red. Yeah, he got a lot of a lot of macros, but you know what? We don't care. We drink anything. We'll try it. We'll try it and see what it's like. We have um, Newcastle Winter IPA. We have Seagram Escapes. This is the Aloha Teeny. And then we have. Mike's on the Rocks Hurricane. So that's that's what we have from my beer store purchases, which are the three Canadian ones. The Booberry Cooler purchases and the Punter. Now, uh, what I picked up today. Uh, where should we start? Let's start with the Hots. No, we'll start right in front of me. We have Blue Moon. Uh, this is their Agava Nectar Ale. Kind of interested in that one, to be completely and utterly honest with you. I'm really interested in this one. This is uh, Coors Batch 19, the pre-prohibition pre style lager. It even has a cool neck piece. I actually am really interested in this beer. I'm intrigued. I'm hoping for something interesting out of it. Whether or not I get it, you never know, but I'm hoping. Bass IPA. I've never had Bass IPA. I've had Bass Pale Ale. never had the India Pale Ale. 
never even knew it existed until I was at uh, Premier Gourmet today, and it was just looking at me. Um, I have some cans. I might as well do them too while I'm sitting here. I have um, six points sweet action. So throw that right there. And push that box out of the way. Then we have. Now we did O'Hara's uh, dry Irish stout. This is O'Hara's Irish red. So I'm going to get into that, see what that's like. We have. This one really interest, intrigued me. This is Rogue's Juniper Pale Ale. I like gin, so a juniper pale ale kind of kind of made me curious. Uh, what else do we have here? Palma Luca. So, Cerveza Pilsen. Pilsen? Uh, it's a Brazil beer. It was in the uh, Latin American section. Mm hmm. Cooper's Brewery from Australia, their best extra stout. Uh, Dogfish Head, 120 minute IPA. Um, I think the way we'll try this one is I'll get like the Reverend or the cartoon who hates, hates IPAs, myself and either the Punter, the Man Child, if he's uh, he might be back in the next few weeks for a weekend. Well, I don't even want to wait a few weeks. So probably the punter or the honey monster who both actually enjoy IPAs on the other side of me. Just, um, just for fun. It says it ages well, but I don't want to age it too bad because I want those, uh, hops to just punch us in the face. I want to get the full, the full Monty on that. Then, just to see what it's like, we have, well, no, it's the wrong bottle. I can't even find it right now. Is it this one? Uh, yeah. So we have the 90-minute Imperial IPA. I was actually going to get the 60 as well, but, you know, you don't want to cross the border with too many beers, and they, you know that you're going to get grabbed. We have the double steam beer from Southern Tier. We have flying, uh, sorry, Dogfish Head's Apra Hop, which is an apricot IPA. So I love apricots. I usually try and pick up any apricot beer I pass because I love apricots. Another Southern Tier beer, this one's from their Blackwater series. This is a Plum Noir Imperial Porter brewed with Italian plums. We have Left Hand's Good Juju. I saw Left Hand's regular milk stone and I was going to pick it up, but again it was one of those things where I only had so much money and I only had so much room in my cart and in the border crossing so I didn't grab it. A beer from New Zealand, this is an ale brewed with boysenberries, and I'll tell you the truth, I don't even fucking know what a boysenberry is. This is boysenberry. We have Peak Organics Hop Noir, which, you know, your, your black IPA basically, yeah, black IPA, 8.2% alcohol. I've only had a few things from Peak Organics, and I think they had both gone bad, the ones I had. So I'll try and get to that very soon as well. Uh, Weyerbacher uh, Heresy, which is a Imperial Stout aged in whiskey barrels. Super excited to try that. Old Heathen Imperial Stout by Weyerbacher. Because, I mean, I can't I can't turn down cheap Imperial Stouts by big name brands. Uh, this actually, well, we'll talk about that one afterwards, because that wasn't actually from me. That was a delivery from one of our viewers. Um, one more moment, you get to look at the background for a second. Sorry, I forgot two things that were uh, part of this as well. We have... We have Evil Twin Brewing. 
Yang Imperial Taji IPA. We have Evil Twin Brewings. Sorry, this was Yang. I believe I said Yang. We have Evil Twin Brewings Yin Imperial Taji Stout. And we have Evil Twin Brewings Yin and Yang Imperial Taji Black and Tan. So I actually think this is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm probably going to do these back to back just to do them separately and then mixed. Um, I think that's something cool to do. I don't know if everybody else finds it cool to do, but I think it's an interesting thing. Interesting experimenti, shall we say. We have Southampton's Public House Imperial Porter. So, yeah. Right there. Uh, I think I've only had a white beer from them. Uh, and I don't think I liked it all that much. I know it's an award-winning white beer, but I didn't I didn't like it. I can't even tell you why because I don't remember enough about it. Uh, that's how, it was a long time ago and it didn't impress me or super dis impress me. It didn't make me sick and it didn't impress me, so I don't remember it much. Um, this is from New England Brewing. It, oh, these are the guys that did that uh, Gandhi bot. Okay. See, see how I remember things. Anyway, this is the Imperial Stout Trooper. I'm actually really intrigued about that. The the uh, picture actually sold me on that one more than anything else. Then we have from the Maine Beer Company in Portland, Maine. This is Mean Old Tom, a stout aged on natural vanilla beans. Extremely, extremely plain label. Then we got, we got here, Moa, Moa Breakfast, Ale Brewed with Natural Flavor. And the last beer we have in this here collection is uh, actually from Devon. So thank you very much for dropping this off, Devon. Uh, I got home, this was in my mailbox. So this is Hop Circle IPA from Phillips. Uh, it is available at the LCBOs, it's apparently fairly hard to find. Uh, yeah, I'm just excited to get a chance to try it. So I'm going to throw that down there too. And then we got hot sauces, guys. We got hot sauces. Papa Cartoon brought two. Cartoon Senior. He got us, um, Cheech Garlic. And he got us, uh, Bull Snort Fire in the Hole Habanero Hot Sauce. I don't know... Well, good. No extract in the bull snort. And lastly, guys, lastly, we have the last three hot sauces, right? We have from... Oh, that table's cut. I wish I had noticed that when I bought it. Anyway, from Burning Asphalt Hot Sauces. This is sweet and hot garlic. So not a very hot sauce. It's going to be a tasty one, I'm hoping. We have... We did we did the uh, green Amazon pepper sauce. This is um, Caribbean habanero sauce by the Amazon company. It's very hot, is what it says. So I'm extremely excited about any very hot sauces. Then we have from Burning Asphalt again, their habanero hot sauce, which is apparently a nine out of ten. So yeah. There you go. That's my uh, that's my beer haul video. So we already have we already have a good hundred videos recorded. So I don't know how many of these you're gonna see in the very near future. But if you check us out on our JTV site, oh, whenever we go live, you'll see us review them live, whether or not. Well, when you see them on YouTube, all matters on how I feel and what I have already stockpiled that I think should go up first. But, uh, yeah. So this is going to be the next next few weeks of videos right here. And, yeah, then we'll go from there on getting more beer. Uh, thank you, guys. Sorry for how long this video was. Enjoy your day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers there for this weekend coming up. And, bye.